incoming message. Hello, fellow perfectionists. I'm talking to you right now. You, the one meticulously arranging your desk items in perfect symmetry, spending hours fine-tuning your email until it's flawlessly worded, and running endless what-if scenarios before making your next pitch. You may not realize it right now, but you are in the clutches of a relentless captor. The illusion of perfectionism. Perfectionism is not just about high standards or striving for excellence. It's about an unattainable pursuit of flawlessness that holds you prisoner to its whims. It is a constant battle between the desire for perfection and the reality of our human limitations. And if you are not sure that you are caught up in this vicious cycle, there are a few questions when answered that should help to clarify it for you. Do you find yourself endlessly analyzing every decision and second guessing your actions? Are you afraid of making even the slightest mistake? Are you so terrified of falling short that you often procrastinate or avoid tasks altogether? Do you constantly berate yourself for your imperfections, never feeling quite good enough no matter how much you've achieved? Are you reluctant to delegate tasks to other people because you believe that no one else can do them as perfectly as you can? Do you see things in black and white, viewing anything less than perfection as a total failure? Well, overthinking, fear of failure, self-criticism, difficulty delegating, all or nothing thinking, these are all signs that you are under the spell of perfectionism. And if any of those sound familiar, listen, you don't need to worry. You are not alone, believe me. Many of us are fellow prisoners in this self-created dungeon of perfectionism. But the good news is there is a way out. First, we need to acknowledge that perfectionism is an illusion. It is an unattainable standard that only serves to hold us back and make us even more miserable. So embracing our imperfections and understanding that mistakes are a necessary part of growth, that's the first step towards liberation. We need to challenge our perfectionistic thoughts and behaviors. Now this involves setting more realistic goals, practicing self-compassion, and learning to accept ourselves, flaws and all, because it is about progress, not perfection. One helpful strategy is to reframe our mindset, right? Rather than focusing solely on outcomes, we can shift our attention to the process, the journey of improvement and learning, celebrate small victories, and acknowledge that setbacks are opportunities for growth. They're not reasons to beat ourselves up. Another crucial aspect of overcoming perfectionism is learning to let go of control. We have to accept that we cannot control every outcome and that it's okay to ask for help or to delegate tasks to other people. Finally, we have to cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciate the journey. Perfectionism often blinds us to the beauty of the present moment. It causes us to constantly chase this idealized future. By practicing mindfulness and gratitude, we can learn to find joy and fulfillment in the here and now. Breaking free from this illusion of perfectionism, it's not easy. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes patience. When we learn to let go of perfection and embrace our authentic selves, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities and true freedom. So release yourself from the chain of perfectionism and embrace the mess that is your life. By doing so, you're going to discover a day that is filled with joy, creativity, and authenticity. Please take a moment to rate, review, and subscribe. Thanks.